Hello, kids. It's us again. This is the stunt one this week. Where are they going? Where are they going? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, come back, kids. Come down here. It's story time. Isn't it, Amber? And this one is Santa. Tonight, guys, <clears throat> we are got a very special treat tonight, haven't we? Yeah. Mm. And this one... This one is Mr. Santa. <coughs> this is Mr. Santa. That is, kids. Okay, then. This is the story. Mr. Men meet Father Christmas. Wow, have you met Father Christmas? You have? Have you? Have you, Amber? I'm on Ryan. I saw Father Christmas yeah. sitting in a present. Did you? But have you meet, met Father Christmas in real life? Yeah. Have you? Yeah. When? What did he say? Um, can I have a Peppa Pig thing? And can I have a Peppa Pig car? And can I have a um, Pig Peppa Pig Santa hat and Santa gloves? You did, didn't you? <clears throat> and you guys have met Father Christmas, I bet you have. Let's did see you? What... They did. Well, I didn't see you. You can't see them, can you? Can we drive in a car? We can. Maybe. Okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> Ready? It was Christmas Eve and little Miss Tiny was excited. And the more she thought about Christmas, the more excited she became. Very, very excited. I wonder what Father Christmas is doing at this moment, she thought to herself. He might be polishing his sleigh, he might be feeding his reindeers, or he might be wrapping his presents. He might even be wrapping my presents. I do wish I could visit him and see. Can you put your legs straight? Thank you. There we go. Let's get comfy. Are you guys, you comfy, you comfy. No, Just I think then, not. you're not. I think they're not. Oh, you comfy now? No. Now? Yeah. Oh, you got a blanket on. <clears throat> good. <clears throat> Just then, she heard somebody outside her mouse hole. That's right, little Miss Tiny is so tiny, she lives in a mouse hole. In the skirting board, you ever look round your house now, you've got skirting boards. Those white things above the carpet are called skirting boards. She lives in a mouse hole in the skirting boards of your house. There's no house. at home farm, in the dining room at home farm. It was Mr. Daydream. And he left his long leg <coughs> with a mouse hole <coughs> and he left with a boy called Gummy and he, and he doesn't say it. I was on my way to see Father Christmas, he said. Would you like to come and Come on a Christmas holiday with me. Little Miss Tiny could not believe her luck. And to read it. To read it. That one. That one we read in. But, um, but, we haven't got that one. Wait. We haven't got that one. We haven't got that one. We haven't got that one. We haven't got those ones. But but carry on now. Yeah. Good. <clears throat> Waiting outside was Mr. Daydream's magic bird. Mr. Daydream's enormous yellow magic bird. Enormous to you or I. 
enormous, but as big as the moon to little Miss Tiny. Mr Daydream and little Miss Tiny climbed onto its back and off they flew to the north. Why do you think they're flying north? Because he wanted to see Santa. And where does Santa live? At the North Pole. At the North Pole. <clears throat> Look, there's a house with an upside down roof, said little Miss Tiny. Where are we? she asked. <coughs> we, Sorry, kids. We are flying over Muddle Land. Muddle Land? S said Mr. Daydream. Would you like to have a look at Muddle Land? Yes, please, said little Miss Tiny. In Muddle Land, everything is a muddle. And Christmas time is no exception. In Muddle Land, they don't decorate their Christmas trees. They decorate the furniture. They decorate um, a light. In Muddle Land, they don't have Christmas trees. They have Christmas breakfast. Sorry, Christmas lunch. They have Christmas breakfast. And, and he hasn't got a Christmas tree. And they're decorating the lights. Not a Christmas tree. That's a bit strange. Bit of a muddle, that, isn't it? Yeah. And then they were off again, and before long they found themselves flying over Cleverland. Now, as you can well imagine, everybody in Cleverland is... Four. Four? Yeah. Now, everybody's clever. Even the sheep. They're so clever that they celebrate Christmas. The sheep celebrate Christmas. That's Santa, that's Santa. And that's snow, darling. <laughs> Little Miss Tiny and Mr Daydream stopped off at many places on their way to the North Pole. In Loudland, they heard the loudest carol singers. <coughs> In the world. They were... No! <laughs> that's right. Yeah. They were... <coughs> They were much too loud for Little Miss Tiny's ears. And they flew to Nonsense Land where the snow That's far. is That's far for Christmas. yellow. That's far for Christmas. Yellow. 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 I think yellow. Yellow. I think yellow. 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 No. Yell. 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 Yellow. 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 There's lots of yellow. Yellow. There's lots of yellow. 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 Say hello. Hello. Yellow. Yellow. Yes! You did it! Give me five! <clears throat> Sorry about that. Just one more stop before we get to the North Pole announcement. Yellow. 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 Thank you. <coughs> You're a stink bum. <coughs> Where is that? Asked little Miss Tiny. Cold land. <laughs> cold land. It was cold. Cold, very, very. Hello. <coughs> Hello. No, we're reading to the children at the moment. Yes. Okay, bye. And it, hello, I'm not again. No, we're reading still. Bye. Very cold. And in Coldland, they have tea with Mr. Sneeze. That's you. Achoo! Sneezed Mr. Sneeze. Achoo! <laughs> Sneezed Mr. Sneeze. Achoo! Sneezed Mr. Sneeze. Achoo! 
says <coughs> little Miss Tiny. Oh dear, said Mr. Danger. I don't think, I think you've caught a cold. <laughs> At at last they reached the North Pole. Little (laughs) Miss Tiny couldn't wait to meet Father Christmas. But where was he? They landed beside a large chimney, stack standing all on its own. How odd, said Little Miss Tiny. Suddenly there was a rumbling sound and two big black boots appeared in the fireplace. Who do you think it is? Who's got black boots? (gasps) Santa! Santa! Father C. There he is. Smack bang fell out of the chimney. Oh, oh you're not <laughs> popping again. <laughs> and off with a pop, Father Christmas squeezed out, squeezed out of the chimney, covered in soot. I think somebody else is going off pop tonight, don't you? Hello, thing. Say hello, that thing. Hello there. I'm trying to read. Hello there, he boomed to little Miss Tiny. How about a <laughs> big tour for a little person? <laughs> I've got to clean myself up. <laughs> 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 Mr Christmas, I'll show you around. Yes, please, said little Miss Tiny. A tissue, says <laughs> Mr Sneeze. Bless you. <laughs> Bless you said Mr Christmas and Father Christmas together. Mr Christmas led little Miss Tiny into a large log cabin where she met the elves who were making the toys. The elves. A tissue, sneezed little Miss Tiny. Bless you, cursed the elves. (laughs) We're a bit excited tonight, aren't we, Amber? We're trying to read a story. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> then Mr Christmas took little Miss Tiny to feed Father Christmas's reindeer. Rudolph, <laughs> Rudolph, Rudolph had a cold. <laughs> a tissue, sneezed Rudolph. Bless you, said little Miss Tiny. Is this the longest story in the world? No, I don't do it. Guys, please, I'm trying to read. And best of all, saw where their <laughs> presents were stored. And this one, said Mr. Christmas, picking up a very tiny parcel, is yours. Little Miss Tiny's face lit up with excitement. It may be small, said Mr. Christmas, but Father Christmas won't forget to deliver it tonight. And just then... <laughs> Father Christmas popped his head around the corner. He had (laughs) dusted off his suit and it was bright red again. He was ready for a busy night. (laughs) Little Miss Tiny let out a small yawn. It was getting very late for a little person. So little... Miss Tiny and Mr Daydream said goodbye to Father Christmas, Mr Christmas, the reindeer, and the elves, and climbed back onto the enormous yellow bird. Little Miss Tiny could hardly keep her eyes open as they flew all the way home. On On Christmas morning, Little Miss Tiny Amber and the children woke to find herself sitting in the armchair, in her mouse hole, in the skirting board, in the dining room, in the home farm. There, next next to her tiny pine cone tree, was a parcel Father Christmas had been. Gosh, she said to herself. (laughs) Sorry about this, kids. Oh, dear. Gosh. She said, did that Christmas holiday really happen? Maybe it was just a dream. (laughs) But then, a tissue. She sneezed. 
That must be true, isn't it? Yes, what a story. <coughs> Haven't we had some fun tonight? Hasn't it been a relaxing read? <laughs> Hope you've had fun. Hope you've had just as much fun as, <laughs> as I've had. Better go now. Got a, got a, got a few things to sort out. <laughs>